Hey girl, hey. So as usual, I'm gonna start this look off with Max Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm just going to prime my lids and get it ready for some action. Then I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette and I'm going to get into the color Buttery. And I'm gonna apply it with my Sigma F35 all over my lid just to help the colors blend easier that we're gonna use here in just a second. Then I'm going to take the color Dusty Rose and I'm gonna use my Sigma E40 brush, which, which is just like a fluffy brush, to apply this into my crease and outer V. I'm also kind of flicking it out, as you can see here, just to create kind of a wing. Then I'm gonna go in with the Dusty Rose color again with my Sigma E25 brush just to deepen the crease and the outer V of the lid a little bit. And again, I'm gonna flick it out to create that wing. Then I'm gonna go back in with this buttery color and pack it on to my lid and the inner corner area using a Sigma E55 brush. Then I'm going in with this amazing periwinkle kind of color called Unicorn. It is like the most amazing color of life. But I'm putting it into the outer V first, and then I'm going to blend it inwards, like in towards the inner corner. I'm horrible at explaining things, but you can see here kind of what I'm doing. So I'm putting this in my crease of my eye and the outer V, and again, kind of flicking that wing part out. And then I'm just going to go back in and build up the color. I find that it's easier just to build it up than to just pack it on, uh, you know, just kind of slop it on there. I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go over it using the same technique in the crease and the outer V. Then I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E40 and a little bit of that dusty rose color and just blend it out. Next, I am onto my brows. I am on this kick with this gray brow product by It Cosmetics. It is Build a Brow, and it's, I don't know. And then I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Then I'm going in with my NYX Wonder Pencil as usual and just kind of cleaning up my brows and then, yeah, girl, and then blending it out with this flat brush by BH Cosmetics. See that blend? Yeah, blend that out, girl. Get that. Going back in with the buttery color, I'm going to highlight my brow with the Sigma E55 and just kind of pack that on there. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Sigma E40 and I didn't put any other colors on it. I'm just kind of blending it all out. Next, I'm gonna take this Say Yes to Cucumbers makeup remover wipe and fold it in half and just kind of create a sharper line and cleaning up any fallout, which I didn't really have too much. But then I decided I wanted a darker color. So I took this aubergine, aubergine color and used this angled brush by e.l.f. and just kind of put it in the outer corner. And then I also used this random no-name brush. I don't even know the name of it. I don't know what brand it is. I totally forget. I'm kind of just putting that into the outer V area and then blending it out with my E25 brush. And here I'm just blending it out and kind of pulling it inwards a little bit, but not too far. You just want to blend it out nice and evenly, smoothly. I don't know, you just want to blend it. That's what I'm doing. I'm flicking it out and bringing it in. That's what I'm doing, girls. Then I'm gonna take this gel eyeliner by Sigma called Wicked, and I'm using this little skinny brush thing by Real Techniques. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about, and I messed up, so I fixed it, and then going back in. The struggle is real, my friends. I just wanted to show you that I don't get it perfect the first time. We just gotta work at it. Gotta work at it. Then I'm wa uh, what? I'm lining my waterline with this retractable liner by Sephora. Yes, Sephora. And then I'm taking my NARS concealer in Chantilly, which is a pale girl's dream highlighting concealer, or at least mine. And I am putting it in all the areas that I want to highlight. And then I am blending it out with a dry beauty blender. I feel like using a dry beauty blender has really helped with my dry skin, it just isn't as noticeable when I use it dry in comparison to wet. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think and now I am singing into my beauty blender as if it were a real microphone. Let's be happy that it's not. Then I'm taking this highlighting powder by Hourglass. This is from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And this is the Incandescent Light Highlighter Powder. 
And then I'm going back in with the Dusty Rose color on my Sigma E25, and I am running this across my lower lash line to kind of prep it for some drama, girls. And then I am using my Sigma E30 pencil brush, and I'm kind of just blending out that eyeliner that I put into my waterline and just kind of dragging it back and forth just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with this color Unicorn and I'm taking an angled brush and just kind of pushing this tightly against my lower lash line and then kind of creating an inner wing as well. It's really hard for me to show you how to get to the lower lash line. And then I'm using my Sigma E25 brush just to blend this all out. Then I'm going back in with this dusty rose color on my E25 brush, my Sigma E25 brush. I keep just saying E25 as if you guys know. And then I'm just blending out everything I did just to kind of blow it out a little bit. Then I'm taking Mary Luminizer on this fat, I always call it a fat pencil brush by, uh, what is this, Eco Tools. And I'm putting this on the inner corners of my eyes to kind of give it a little pop and just a little bit on my brow bone. Then I am just putting on mascara. This is some sample I got from Sephora. I believe it's a Dior mascara of some sort. And then I'm putting on these Ardell Demi Wispy lashes just really quickly. And then I put on a little bit more Dusty Rose onto my lower lash line just to blow it out and give it a little bit more drama. And then I put mascara on my lower lashes. Now I am using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using this bronzer, the lightest shade bronzer. And I am just giving my face a little bit of I don't know, tan? Is this, is this even tan? I feel like this is like still pale. Then I'm using my favorite blush by Sigma. It is called Serene. It is my favorite blush of life. I have a 10% off discount code. I will give you down in the description box. You have to get this blush if you get anything from Sigma. I promise you it is bomb. Then I am just putting a little bit more highlight on, not like I needed it, but it was the hourglass one. Now I am lining my lips. This is the actually a brow pencil by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe it's the ash blonde color. And then I, I don't know, that packaging would not come off, but this is the NYX lip pencil in nude beige. And I'm just lining over the Anastasia color and filling it in. Then I'm going in with this LA Splash Lip Couture Ghoulish Liquid Lipstick, which is ugh, my favorite lipstick of life. It's just beautiful. It's Pumas Maximus. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me some comments in the comments box because you know I want to talk to you, girl. Anyways, I will see you guys next time and yeah, thanks so much for watching.